Ableton Live is one of the best DAWs to quickly capture your ideas in MIDI form. And one of the best ways to capture MIDI ideas is by using a piano roll. In this video, I wanna show you how to get access to Ableton Live's piano roll, both in session and arrangement view. So let's get started. So first, over in session view, I've got a MIDI track added here. This is my default Ableton set. If for some reason you don't see a MIDI track, you could go up to the Create menu and do Insert MIDI Track. And the way you access the piano roll on Ableton Live is you have to have some sort of MIDI clip. In session view, the best way to create and add a MIDI clip is to double click. You'll see that open up and down at the bottom here, we see our piano roll. So I can click and move my mouse to the left of this to zoom in and out to see the, the full piano view. And then there's a couple different ways to add notes to this clip. I could double click to create a note here. And so let's just do a basic C chord, C, E, and G. And then I could select all of these and drag if I wanted to, for instance, make these uh, run an entire measure. And there's some other controls we could do uh, to, to create MIDI notes as well too and, and transform MIDI notes. Uh, but then the other way to add MIDI notes is if you really quickly want to do this, I could press B to enter draw mode and then I could draw in MIDI notes in Ableton Live. And based on, if I right click, based on what my grid is set to, I could choose fixed grid or adaptive grid, which adaptive grid changes as I zoom in and out. But I could go to fixed grid, for example, here to select quarter notes and I could redraw this. Let's redraw this now, and it's going to draw in as quarter notes, which is great. So uh, that's how we can access the piano roll over in session view. Let's go to arrangement view. If I press tab, that's going to take me over to arrangement view. You'll see we don't see a piano roll here. That's because we don't have any clips in arrangement view. Uh, to create a clip in arrangement view, it's a little different process than in session view. But I'm going to unfold this track here. So let's click this fold button. We're going to unfold this MIDI track. I'm going to go to the uh, far left, and I'm going to click and drag for however long I want that MIDI clip to be. Let's make it that length there. Then I could go up to the Create menu and do Insert Empty MIDI Clip, or I could use the shortcut Shift-Command-M or Shift-Control-M if you're on a PC. So let's click that, and you see we get our MIDI clip. Now, again, same exact thing we could do. We could go in here and draw in MIDI notes this time if we wanted. Uh, we could uh, turn off draw mode and click and drag uh, or double click and then drag those notes out if we wanted. Um, and then again, like I mentioned, there's ways to transform these clips. Uh, reverse, invert, legato, randomize, uh, change the velocity range, all sorts of things which we won't cover in this video. Uh, final thing I want to show you, if for some reason you create your MIDI clip and then suddenly it disappears and you can't find the piano roll again, what you want to do is click on the clip, uh, click on the track here, and you can press shift tab and that's going to take you over to clip view, uh, show you in the notes tab how to get that. If maybe you see clip view open but you see something like this, uh, your envelopes tab or expression tab, uh, then you can click back to notes to just see the piano roll. Um, same thing if you want to access that via clip. Uh, and let's go back to session view. Let's say we lose our, our clip view. I could double click on this clip and by default that should open up. But if for some reason it still doesn't, I can do shift tab to see that clip view and see the piano roll. So that's how to access the piano roll on Ableton Live. If you like using Ableton Live in the studio or on the stage, then I would highly suggest you subscribe to the channel. That's what we talk about using Ableton Live both in the studio and the stage, performing on stage with Ableton Live. So hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you're notified when we post new content. I post a new video every single day. So every single day, you'll get a brand new tip, trick, or tutorial showing you how to use Ableton Live. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye.